Hello and welcome to Microsoft Power Automate Tutorials. In this tutorial, we will learn about sentimental analysis model which is available in AI Builder as part of Power Automate. First of all, we'll see what is sentimental analysis. Sentimental analysis is an automated process capable of understanding the feeling or opinions that underlies in a text. Sentimental analysis is a natural language processing technique used to determine whether data is positive, negative, or neutral from the particular text. Sentimental analysis is often performed on a textual data to help business monitor brand on product sentiment in customer feedback and understand the customer needs. This sentimental analysis studies the subjective information in an expression, that is, the opinions, appraisals, emotions, or attitude towards a topic, person, or entity. Expressions can be classified as positive, negative, or neutral. These are the three expressions which we have for the sentimental analysis. There are few use cases that what we have for the sentimental analysis. One is social media monitoring, brand monitoring, customer support analysis, customer feedback analysis, and market research. These are the few use cases which we are having for the sentimental analysis. All right, where we will find this sentiment analysis model as part of Power Automate. If you see on my screen, I'm having AI Builder. If you click on AI Builder, there we will find Build. Click on build. There you can see over here, get straight to the productivity. There you will find sentiment analysis. If you see over here the description, which will analyze positive or negative or neutral sentiment from our text. By using this model, we can automate our process to understand our feelings which are available inside the text. All right, let's click on this model. Now, if you see over here, there is a sentiment analysis which will analyze the sentiment from our text. It may be the positive, it may be the negative, or it may be neutral. So, first of all, we will see the tryout over here. You can see there is a lot of text is there to analyze that. Let's click on drop down. If you see over here, it was easy to sign up for the online bill payment. So, if you see the text over here, it is positive, right? You can understand from the text it is positive. Let's select that and you can see over here the text sentiment you can find it as positive. And also you can see there's a lot of things. I didn't get a response back from the customer support. This is the negative. When you are going to select that, these are all the predefined text to analyze that. And then you can see the text sentiment that you can get it as negative. All right. Now you want to give your own text over here. How can we go ahead and do that? Now I'm going to say Power Automate is awesome. Okay, then I can click on analyze text. If you see over here, the text sentiment is positive over here. And also I will give some more things over here as software is awful. So, by using this test, we can know this sentiment is negative. Click on that to analyze the test so that you will get it as negative. All right. Now, I want to make it the expression as neutral. In that case, if you see software is not sure, then click on that. You can see over here, if you click on analyze test, it is in neutral. These kind of expressions we can classify by using our text. All right. You can see over here this kind of, this sentiment analysis we can use in flow or in app. I'm not going to use anything over here. And uh, we can see the best practices over here. For large text, use sentiment detected at the sentiment level. Don't use overall document sentiment for big chunks of text. And you can see over here, use text entries that are all in same long ways. So if you're going to use any kind of long way to analyze this sentiment, use same kind of long ways test over here. If you're going to use English or French or some kind of long ways that you're going to use, use the same kind of long ways 
to identify our expression by using sentiment analysis all right now i'm not going to use any flow over here or use in app i will create my own flow by using power automate all right let's click on cancel now to create my own flow i'm going to click on create i'm going to use instant cloud flow for the time being i'm going to give the name as sentiment analysis flow and then i'm going to use manually to get a flow click on that and then i'm going to create a flow over here if you see over here i'm going to give the input manually over here in real time scenarios you can get this kind of text from your emails or else from the website or from the sharepoint you can get it i will show you both the things over here first of all over here i will show you how to analyze from the text by using manually trigger flow all right let me click on manually trigger flow and over here i'm going to give the input over here as text let's select that and i'm going to give the input over here as feedback input feedback so that i will enter my input text over here all right now let me click on new step to predict what kind of text i have given like sentimental analysis that we will do it as part of our text all right now i'm going to use ai builder ai builder there you can find predict ai builder once you select the predict ai builder there you will find the model from the model what is our model that we are going to use sentiment analysis model we are going to use to identify the expression from our text right so that i'm going to use sentiment analysis model select that now you have to give the parameters like long ways and text so what is the text we have given which kind of long way that it is going to be using so now i will give it as english over here because of the input i'm going to give it entirely in english so that i have given en over here and the text what is the text the input which we are going to give it as input feedback is the input over here for this sentimental analysis model all right i'm going to give it as input feedback let me select that and once we have selected that input as a text and then we have given the long way it will try to analyze the sentiment analysis by using ai builder all right and then it will give the output in different ways i will show you that all right now i want to store the output where i can store the output i have created a workbook with the name of sentiment analysis inside that i am having a table with the name of sentiment over here you can see i am having text and the expressions or the columns that what we have the text is nothing but what kind of text i am going to give it and then the output which we are going to get it as the part of the predict sentiment analysis model that will be showed over here like negative positive or neutral all right now let me click on new step to record our output i'm going to use excel online business over here and then i'm going to use add a row add a row into the table is my action that we are going to use it over here and then i'm going to use location and document library as one drive for business now i'm going to select the file over here what is the file i'm having sentiment analysis is the workbook name right i'm going to select the same thing and then you what is the table i'm having sentiment i'm going to select that once you are going to select the table you will get the columns over here as text and the expression what is the text that what is the input that i am going to give it inside the input feedback is the same text i am going to give it over here i am going to select input feedback and then expression the outcome which we are going to get as part of the sentiment analysis model that is the output we are going to get it as ai builder right you can see there's a lot of outcomes that we are having global negative score neutral score and all these things these are related to the score how much score that we are going to get it over here right and then if you see i'm going to use sentence sentiment it is the output which you are going to get it as expression output as positive negative or neutral let me select that now let me explain you once again the entire flow over here i'm going to give the 
text as an input by manually triggering a flow over here and then the text I'm going to predict by using sentiment analysis model as part of AI builder. Now what is the output that we'll get it? We'll get three kind of expression from this predict analysis. One is positive, negative and neutral. Along with that we'll get a lot of scores based on the positive, negative and neutral scores. I'm not going to use that one right now. And then I'm going to store or I'm going to add a record inside the Excel to identify what kind of input or what kind of expression that I'm having based on the underlying test which I have given as part of manually given input. So over here you can use the Gmail also. I will show you how to do that immediately after completion of this test. All right. Now my flow is ready. Now I want to test my flow is working fine or not for the sentimental analysis model. How can we go ahead and do that? Click on text. Now I'm going to select manually that is perform starting an action to trigger. And then I'm going to click on test. Now I'm going to give the input feedback. I'm just going to give in a text format over here like power automate is awesome. And then I'm going to run the flow. Now if you observe over here, the text and the expression has been captured and you can see power automate is awesome that is the text which i have given and the expression is positive all right and in the same way i'm going to give one more expression over here the new design is awful by looking into this text that we can understand this is the negative text all right or negative expression let's click on run flow now if you see over here the new design is awful and the expression is negative these kind of expressions we can automate by using our sentimental analysis to understand the feelings or the opinions from the text so that what will happen we can utilize this kind of text to understand the market or the social media monitoring or brand marketing or customer feedback we can analyze it very easily by using this sentiment analysis all right up to here you have seen how to manually trigger all right, now I will create a new model over here and I'm going to select automated cloud flow and I'm going to give the model over here as sentiment flow and I'm going to give the trigger as Gmail. So because of I'm going to take the action from the Gmail over here, what I'm going to do when a new mail arrives, I'm going to select that and then I'm going to click on create. This is the triggering point which I'm having for the sentiment analysis. Now over here the label I have selected as inbox. So what it will do whenever the new mail occurs so that it will try to analyze the text by using sentiment analysis model and then it will give the output over here. All right. Now I'm going to click on new step. I'm going to use AI builder and then predict AI builder. And then I'm going to choose the model over here as sentiment analysis model. And then I'm going to give it as English. And then text I'm going to give it as the input that we are going to get it, right? So I will give the body over here or the subject. I, I will give the subject over here at the new email when the new email comes. That subject I'm going to take it to identify what kind of expression that we are going to get it by using sentiment analysis. All right, I'm going to select subject over here. And then I'm going to click on new step. And I'm going to use Excel online business over here. And I'm going to give action as add a row into the table. And then the location on the document, I'm going to use it as OneDrive for business. And then I'm going to use the file. I'm going to use the same file over here that is sentiment analysis. Now I have selected the file as sentiment analysis.xlsx and the table I'm used as sentiment and the text. What is the text? I'm going to use the same subject from the Gmail, right? And then the expression, I'm going to take it as sentence sentiment. All right. Now my flow is ready. Let me click on save. Now let me click on test to test my flow is working fine or not. Let's click on test. And I'm going to select manually over here and then I'm going to click on test. Now to see it working it or not send a new email to your inbox. I'm going to send an email over here from my personal email to 
the Gmail which I have mentioned over there, which I have configured over there. All right. I have already sent a mail. Now, if you see over here, my flow has been ran successfully. Now, let me go to sentiment analysis. You can see over here, the software is good. All right. I hope you understand how to extract the expression from the particular test by using sentiment analysis model, which is a natural language processing technique in the AI builder. Thank you for watching Power Automate tutorials. If you have any queries related to this concept, please post them in the comment section. I will see you in the next session. Till then, bye-bye. Have a wonderful day.